Today we'll actually talk about differential forms themselves, introducing cotangent spaces and one forms, and tying this in with what we've already learned about tangent spaces. I've worked hard to come up with a really what I feel to be an intuitive way to understand the motivation behind um, defining integration this way, and I hope it helps you as much as it's helped me. The integration of forms is all about signed or oriented integration. One forms in particular are used to integrate over oriented paths. So I thought it'd be helpful to look at some one forms we've seen before. What we have here is an integral we've probably all seen before in some introductory calculus course. If we think about the dx as the tangent vector moving along the path which is the line from a to b, then f of x dx is actually a one form. We can think about this as assigning a value to each vector along the path, each tangent vector in particular along the path. Now let's consider another example we've probably all seen before, integration over a vector field. Here the tangent vector notion is really indispensable because the direction that it points at a point is directly related to the value, the vector value taken at that point. So the one form here is f dr and again we can think about this as assigning a value to a vector and the integral is simply summing up in a sense all of those values. Now let's consider manifolds. How might we go about integrating a function over a path gamma? So we want a function that takes a point on the manifold and outputs an element of the field, say the real numbers. Now if we want this to be integrable to extend this notion of a signed integral, we need a tangent vector. Um, so what does a tangent vector mean on a manifold? Well, we actually addressed this issue already through our video on tangent vectors. So gamma informs our choice of tangent vector. But how do we get from this tangent vector to a point on the real line? Well, we could consider linear functions from the tangent space to the real line. Elements of this space are dual to the tangent space and are known as covectors, which are simply elements of what we call the cotangent space. If we connect this all together, we get what we want. However, we don't want this cotangent vector to be varying to just depend on our choice of tangent vector. We want it to actually depend on our point um, on the manifold, just like in our other examples. So one forms are actually what connects the point on the manifold to a covector. It is a function that assigns to each point on the manifold a covector. And this is something that we can actually integrate. This is completely analogous to our previous examples.